Ryan. Welcome, folks. Surprise, surprise. It's Jacob Shoup again, filling in for Tom O'Brien. I'll be with you again tomorrow as well. Of course, we are off Monday, the federal holiday. We won't resume back Tuesday. I believe Tom should be back then. I've said that in the past, and I was wrong. So, just kidding. Let's take a look at what we got going on today. We have the ES Mini. We're trading down about 0.15%, a little bit flat currently. Uh, the Russell down almost a full percentage point. We have the NQs trading at 16,951. That is flat. Basically sideways, looking at everything going on, at least currently. Uh, we'll have the Dow futures trading about 0.08% to the downside. Uh, gold contract trading about 2,031 and 10 cents. Silver at 2,285. We're moving down in silver. We just keep marching lower than two. And that was on some pretty uh, high volume as well. So we'll have to take a look and see what's going on with that. Uh, of course, we're having some counter trend bounces, at least in the uh, yields on the 10 year uh, trading. We were on the way down. We're trading about 4.008% uh, uh, currently on that, but we'll probably see traversal down from there. Looking at copper trading at 3.78 right now, up about 0.13%. One second. Got to mute my Discord. Oh, on that topic, I want to say um, I've been talking about the Discord quite a bit on here, and we've had a few people moving in. Um, I think about 10 this week, which is nice. We're nearing up about, uh, about above 650 people. It's been pretty successful. Everyone's loving it so far. Uh, let's take a look here. Looking at Tesla right now, trading at 227.77, down about 3%. Uh, Steel Dynamics at 112. 50, DXY 102.38, QQQs at 408.86, Google 143, Microsoft, let's take a look here quickly, uh, briefly surpassed Apple this morning as the largest company. We were trading up about, well, about 0.54% today, trading at 384 and 81 cents. We have a lot to talk about today. We'll talk a little about Lucid. They've made all-time lows again, some Weird stuff going on in the EV market. However, some pushes uh, from the government to expand EV charging infrastructure, which is no doubt going to bring uh, a ton of money uh, into basically the minerals and kind of all these more uh, industrial uh, kind of uh, stocks here. We actually do have a caller talking to Costa in Boston. He's looking at Newmont. How are you doing, Costa? Can you hear me? Good. Yes, I can hear you fine. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. What can uh, we take a look at today? New one mining, NEM. NEM. -E yeah, what are you taking a look at regarding Newmont here? Trading down right now about 1.2%, uh, trading at 37.49. Are you in Newmont currently? What are you, what are you taking no, a look at regarding to buy it. You're I'm looking to buy, to buy it? it? So, at least in all of the miners right now, right? We're seeing kind of a minor pullback and everything. Looking at gold, trading about 2031 on the entire contract. Uh, I know at least with speaking with Tom, and he's really the guy you want to talk to a lot with these kind of mining stocks. So we're kind of looking to wait for a, a bigger pullback in gold. One of the things I can recommend doing as well for a larger look at kind of all these equities in the miners, take a look at my interview with Tim uh, about last Thursday, and we go over that. Uh, at least the way that we're looking at it now here, uh, we're still waiting on a larger pullback from some of these miners uh, until we become, you know, major buyers in it. That's what I'm looking at, at least regarding the whole industry. Um, Newmont as a whole, obviously, we're kind of coming down right now. We had a lot of volume uh, about November 8th, and we were moving up. Let's see, from the top of that was about 39.27 all the way down to 33.59, a traversal back up. We are coming down right now, but this is, again, a pullback we've been seeing in a lot of these kind of miners, right? What's positive about these is that it's on low volume. So we might get a retest, and we did just retest uh, about this level here, which is 37.19, and uh, kind of wait to see if Newmont can get some footing going forward. I do think in the years, in the year ahead, uh, these gold miners are going to do pretty well. Um, I believe Tom would share that kind of opinion of it too. Um, but so far as we're looking at it, I can still see Newmont pulling back a little bit along with some of these miners as well. Um, especially with this counter trend bounce with the dollar, I would say. Uh, we want to wait to see that come back down, maybe more to like the $99 area. 
uh, until we can see gold really like take off in a major way. So that's kind of my two pence on Newmont. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for calling in, Costa. All right, let's take a look here. I think we got some more callers as well. Uh, let's take a look at Lucid, trading down about 5% today, uh, 4.8. This is the lowest it's been in, in quite a while. They had very poor numbers uh, on their quarterly reports. They're having issues producing the cars. They're having issues getting them all assembled and getting them out. I think we're going to see a larger hit uh, in EV going forward, right? We've seen Hertz actually, they're about to reduce the number of EVs that they have in their fleet by about a third, uh, which is a large number. I think something around 20,000. Uh, I think that the production is getting a little bit too expensive as it is currently. I think the past two years have been very good for new car purchases and just car purchases in general. And this kind of begs the question, what is the demand going to be uh, for just vehicles in general going forward in the next few years? And then certainly something that I would, I wouldn't call niche, but because uh, obviously it's becoming very dominant, EVs is what I'm saying. Uh, but I still think that it's not as prevalent uh, as it's going to be going forward, right? I think we're gonna get a lull currently and this is going to kind of lag purchase of EVs. One of the positive things that I, I think is going to benefit uh, the purchasing of EV going forward, I mean, one, first, let's say the, the tax rebates you get for owning an EV vehicle and at least buying it are actually pretty good. I was looking, I drive a Mazda CX-30. It's a newer model. Um, and with the rebates and all the kind of deals that I would get buying an EV, and this is again coming from like the government, I would have paid roughly the same uh, for a Tesla, which is positive. I didn't buy a Tesla um, because I just don't know where I want to charge it. This is a major issue. Well, Biden administration just dumped something like $630 million into expanding these EV charging stations, which is going to be massive. We'll take a look about this. We're about to hit the break, um, so I'll save pulling that up until we get there. Uh, but these are some of the challenges we're seeing, and I, I think with higher rates as well, a lot of these more expensive cars, which the EV models usually are, um, are probably going to be put on the back burner at least uh, for the next two or three years. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back.